Hey everybody, G Bear here. As promised, I wanted to give out the uh, uh, instructions and measurements for building my high gain antennas. Um, now, by no means am I claiming that uh, this is a uh, patentable uh, design. I just basically looked at other antennas I saw around and kind of just put stuff together to come out with this. So I'm going to show you very simply, I'm sorry for bending over there, but I had to reach down. I'm going to show you basically what, what I did and how I got the uh, dimensions for this. All right, now on these rods right here, these rods actually come out, as I said before, they come out of level or blinds. Here's one right here. And uh, this one is probably about six foot long. Um, I've had some of them up to eight foot long and so forth and so on. So I got a little wire on the end of there. I use this for a, uh, um, a snake rod when I'm pulling wires through holes or in attics and things like that. But basically, in order to get my measurements, all I did was just use what I had. Okay, this is a speed square. So the, you notice that the speed square is exactly the same as those bends are so that's that's the measurement i chose just because that's what i had okay so when i laid this down on the rod i just marked three points one point two point and three point and then moved it down made contact with my point and did the same thing again one point two point three point and then down here i went just one point at the top and then one point at the bend and then I just came straight across here instead of going back on a 90 degree here. Now, you see that I've got uh, one, two, three, four. So basically, in the center here, there's two, um, two full diamonds and then a half diamond. And then up here, because I ran out of the rod, that this is what I ended up with. This distance is half of one of these. Okay, so as you can see, if I put that right there, it's just half of one of those. But this whole distance is the length of that whole piece. If it, if it wasn't bent here, it would go straight up and be just a start of the next diamond. So I went halfway across there, took a measurement, and then just bent it over on a 45 degree angle so it came out this way on both all right so down here instead of bending outward i bent inward okay so and this is again this is just uh because of the amount of rod i had this is a um, half inch thick um, plastic i get from the uh, a place around here called paragon plastics and they have scrap plastic bins where you can go in there and pick up remnants and I, I go in there every now and then and pick up stuff that I need. All right, next. The, uh, the tube that I used is one inch aluminum tube, 16 gauge thick, okay? And that, the only reason I used that was because I just happened to have two six foot sticks of it. All right, so the cross pieces here are 15 and a half. And that's not critical. I, didn't, I could have made them any size, but 15 and a half seemed to work for me at that point. And then the, the center pole here is 30 inches. Okay. These little blocks are three inches wide and an inch and a half tall. That's what I cut them at because I had a a piece of that a piece of remnant and I just cut it up and I got six of those so I made two antennas my first build antenna this is my second build antenna all right now let's turn this around and on the back side all I did was to fasten this together was I used some little um, truss head screws that went through so I used two of them in, in here so that it won't wobble up or swivel up and down and then these are just um, hex head screws with rubber washers used for holding down metal roofing and I had some of those around because I just did a metal roof for one of my customers 
Okay, the clamp I didn't have, so I made that with a U-bolt and a piece of channel iron that I had laying around. I just ground it out, so I made pretty much a muffler clamp. Underneath here, I fastened on a piece of one by one, um, eighth inch thick angle aluminum. And I've fastened that with screws to this little piece. And that center piece is six inches. Okay. That pretty much covers it. Um, these black washers, these are leftovers from um, when I install uh, TV mounts and install TVs for people on the wall, hung on the wall. There's always extra hardware left over. I save the washers and that's what I'm using here. The actual screws that go through here are some of the screws that I use, got from there too. Those are 832s by inch and a half. Okay, so I put a, an 832 nut on the inside there over the washer to hold my aluminum onto the block. And then I put um, these wing nuts on there with another washer so that it would hold the wires from the ballon. Okay, these are all just single screws that are, I pre-drilled the plastic and then I put the single screw in to hold the plastic up against the aluminum uh, square tube. All right, now on my first one, I use the, these little hats designs and what this is is basically it's half of one of those uh, diamonds so I just came down three inches down here and then three inches down there and three inches so if if um, you wanted to make this you don't really have to I found it's just a waste of time it's just a fancy design and doesn't really do much these little straight rods are what I used on this one and I get just as good a reception out of this antenna as I do out of the bigger one so you can save some material by building a smaller one like this all right here we go the screen that I got the squares in this and this is plastic coated screen these are one inch by two inch okay on the squares and if you uh, counted them you could get the distance but let's go this way so I got 17 inches across there but down here I got 16 so that's 18 inches wide for the screen before I made the bend in it and the height is 32 okay that's about all there is to it there's really not a lot to building one of these things um, just take your time and make it look as neat as possible um, these are self drilling self tapping screws and they went right through the aluminum without a problem um, same thing with these other screws up in here now those screws up there I made th those were like uh, oh, the ones that I tied the bars together those were like uh, almost two inches I think they were an inch and three quarters long and then these little ones here were one inch and they just just almost go through and touch the metal the uh, extra eighth of an inch on the wire holds them back a little bit so that worked and again the only reason I use that stuff was because that's what I had on hand you could probably do the same thing with what you had on hand if there are any other questions leave them in the comments below and I'll try to explain that for you G-Bear signing off, getting ready to run out to the desert again. Get ready for some adventurous videos when I get back from there. One other thing, you might ask um, how I made the bends, how I got these bends made. Well, years ago I bought this little thing from Harbor Freight Tools. And this basically is a, a bender. It's got... The, the sharp sharp jaw there and then it's got the 90 degree jaw there and these have magnets on them and they stick to a vise to the jaws of a vise this is a metal thing on my trailer it sticks right on there see they stick right on and then you just clamp the jaws of the vise together with your 
your rod in between here and it will bend it and you can stop the bend wherever you want or go even tighter and make a sharper bend so that's what I used to do all my bends I don't know if you'll be able to find one of these I've had this thing for probably 20 years I don't think uh, they make them anymore I've never seen them again over in there but uh, you'll have to come up with your own way of bending stuff uh, that's the best I can do for you and show you what I used I do have other benders that in here but this just happened to be the easiest and fastest way to do this so there you go now if you keep your 90 degrees going here you don't have to worry about the, your, your measurement distance between screws because they're gonna that's where you, you just I just put the screws where they came out I just put the blocks where they came out um, when I bent this whole thing all up when the bends were done I just I bent two of these exactly the same if you take this one and flip it over onto there it's exactly the same as the other one so I just bent the two and then flipped one the opposite direction so I got a left and a right and then put screws on them to hold them on the blocks and then I put the blocks laid the blocks on here and centered my unit on that bar that 32 inch bar and then I shot those screws in to hold it down simple stuff G-Bear signing off <laughs>